Hi, I'm Luke Armour, Associate Professor of Public Relations at Kent State University. I'm going to show you a few things you've seen that you didn't know were public relations, but they are. Public relations, or PR, is the process of an organization or brand communicating or relating to its publics. Any group of people that is large enough to matter to an organization is a public. So customers, employees, residents of a city, state, or country, shareholders, even critics are publics to an organization. These publics can get very specific depending on the organization. For example, uh, mothers in Northeast Ohio, students at Kent State, or young people in the United States who like cats. Public relations is a growing field and a variety of career options are available for PR professionals. From corporate boardrooms and creative agencies to sports arenas, presidential campaigns and the halls of Congress, global nonprofits, hospitals, fashion runways, and well beyond. So let's get started. Our first example is a campaign that's been around for more than 15 years, the Dove Campaign for Real Beauty. In 2004, research showed Dove that only 2% of women considered themselves beautiful. The company partnered with public relations firm Edelman to set about changing that mindset. Using real women in their marketing with no digital editing of those photos, creating videos that demonstrated how digitally distorted fashion and beauty images are, showing us all how critical women are of themselves. Public relations is at work here because first, we're talking about it. They didn't just do these things, they told everyone. They wanted to start these conversations with their publics. Second, these videos and programs don't sell or even feature products. They are designed to change the conversations we have about standards of beauty. Public relations is part of creating and sharing education and empowerment initiatives such as the Dove Self-Esteem Project and the Confident Girl hashtag on social media. Even the talking points that Dove executives use to talk about these campaigns in the media is public relations. Dove's leadership in this area has certainly helped its bottom line. Increasing annual sales in the first 10 years of the campaign from $2.5 billion to over $4 billion. And the campaign was also named PR Week's 2006 Consumer Launch Campaign of the Year. Who could forget the summer when we all dumped buckets of ice water over our heads and nominated our friends to do the same? The 2014 ALS Ice Bucket Challenge was genius because it tied a competitive challenge, the nomination, with an unpleasant but quirky dare that was super relevant to the disease. ALS, or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, is a neurodegenerative disease that affects nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. It has no cure. Half of all people affected with ALS live at least three or more years after diagnosis. The disease was unknown to many people and was hardly talked about. The Ice Bucket Challenge started organically with people who had a relationship with this terrible disease, nominating each other and their families, and then it took off. A month after it started, the ALS Association got involved to help fuel the campaign even more. Well, how is this relevant? Ice water pouring over us sends a shock that numbs our senses a feeling people diagnosed with ALS say mirrors symptoms of the disease. And it worked. The viral social media campaign started a national conversation about the disease, recorded more than 2.4 million videos, and raised more than $115 million for the ALS Association to help find a cure. And guess what? We're still talking about it today. As we're all keenly aware, we are in the middle of a pandemic right now, and communities, cities, and states have a vested interest in keeping us safe and healthy. The Ohio Department of Health is challenged to inform, educate, and get its publics, residents of Ohio, to comply with best practices for public health. The organization has been doing this by sharing fact-based research and guidance. It provides information on testing, checklists on way to keep you and your family safe, videos about face masks, physical distancing, how germs spread, and how to help flatten the curve. You can download posters and signs in English, Spanish, and Chinese. Public relations can be seen in the preparation of talking points from spokespersons like Governor DeWine, creating engaging social media posts, 
working with experts to create those posters and videos, researching and communicating with community partners, and working with local and state news sites and media to help spread that information. It's comprehensive, attempting to reach all Ohioans in all places to try to get them to take actions, or in some cases, stop some actions for the benefit of all Ohio citizens. Lastly, I want to show you how an organization can take advantage of current events to help generate awareness of an issue, a solid public relations objective. The World Wildlife Foundation's mission is to conserve nature and reduce the most pressing threats to life on Earth. The challenge, of course, is how do we get people to understand something that they can't see with their own eyes? That requires a good PR strategy. Well, in early 2019 came the 10-year challenge. Users of social media started posting pictures of themselves from 2009 and 2019 side by side. Some people hardly changed at all in those 10 years. Some changed a lot. The World Wildlife Foundation piggybacked on the 10-year challenge craze to raise awareness about the impacts of deforestation on the planet. The organization would show two pictures of, say, the same rainforest section in 2009 and 2019. The contrasting photos show drastic changes that are impossible to ignore. Inserting its own messaging into a pop culture sensation was a masterful way of getting attention and raising awareness of its issue. Public relations is all around us, often in the background. As we teach it here, it's based on research and facts within an ethical framework. So if any of these challenges sound as interesting to you, you're a strategic thinker, you like writing and enjoy, or think you might enjoy public speaking, you might want to consider majoring in public relations at Kent State's School of Media and Journalism. PR Kent is the only public relations program in Ohio with certifications from both the Public Relations Society of America and the Accrediting Council on Education in Journalism and Mass Communication. On top of that, we have an award-winning chapter of the pre-professional student group Public Relations Student Society of America, and, of course, a network of proud PR Kent alumni across the world. Visit our website for more information, and contact me or any other PR faculty if you have questions. I hope to see you here. Well, not exactly here, this is my house, but you, I think you know.